Welcome to the fifth tutorial in our series about getting started with Excel Deploy. In previous tutorials, we've talked about deploying packages to target environments. In this tutorial, we'll take a closer look at deployment packages. Packages are stored in the repository, which is Excel Deploy's data store. You can find them under Applications. Typically, a deployment package represents a version of your application. You can set your own versioning for your applications. Excel Deploy doesn't limit you to a particular versioning scheme. The deployment package contains everything that your application needs to run, that is, the artifacts and configuration settings that it requires. These are called deployables. Packages should be environment independent, so you can reuse them from development to production. You make them independent by using placeholders for environment-specific properties. Let's take a closer look at some deployables. This is an application binary, which is an example of an artifact. Artifacts can be files, folders, archives, or anything else that you need to copy to a target environment during deployment. When I created the artifact, I uploaded the application binary to the Excel Deploy server. Here, I can see a placeholder for a repository location. This placeholder is inside the application binary. Excel Deploy scanned the artifact and located this placeholder. My application also includes a resource that contains the configuration settings for a database connection. Unlike with an artifact, I don't have to upload anything to the Excel Deploy server when creating a resource. Like artifacts, resources can contain placeholders. This resource has placeholders for a database connection username and password. You store the values for placeholders in a dictionary or in an encrypted dictionary. You associate dictionaries with environments. Then, when you deploy the application to an environment, Excel Deploy fills in the placeholders with the values that are defined in that environment's dictionary. Every deployable has a type that identifies it, defines the properties that you can set for it, and determines how Excel Deploy will handle it. The types of deployables that are available are determined by the plugins that you have installed in the Excel Deploy server. To see what's installed, choose About from the Excel Deploy Help menu. Visit zbialabs.com to browse our plugin gallery and see what's available. A package doesn't always have to be a single application. It can contain anything that you want to handle as a versioned deliverable that you can install, upgrade, downgrade, or remove. For example, if you have configuration settings that aren't specific to one application, but that are used by many applications, you can create a package that contains the shared items. And a package doesn't necessarily have to contain artifacts at all. Say you're using WebSphere or another highly configurable middleware platform. You can create a package that only contains the configuration settings that your WebSphere setup requires. Also, you can create a package that only contains other packages. We call this a composite package. You can use a composite package to aggregate the components of a larger system. In Excel Deploy, packages are always complete, so you don't need to create Delta packages by hand. Excel Deploy's Autoflow engine identifies the configuration items that are different between package versions, such as existing items that have changed and new items that have been added. Then Excel Deploy generates an optimal deployment plan that only contains the steps that are needed for these differences. This makes your application delivery pipeline easier to automate, less prone to errors, and better suited to deploying to on-demand environments. Now you should have a better understanding of deployment packages in Excel Deploy. In the next tutorial, we'll take a closer look at the process of upgrading an application.